Hello everyone out there in YouTube land. This is Tobin Industrial and this is the second video we're going to be doing uh, on this meter which is a Simpson meter made by Simpsons uh, and the model number I do believe is uh, model number 324. I found uh, some information online concerning this uh, meter and uh, so now I understand a little bit more as to its function. It reads ohms and mega ohms. It's used for testing phone lines finding faults, breaks, uh, voltages, voltage drops, and uh, spikes or whatever. But I also discovered uh, through that uh, the actual capability of this meter reading DC voltage. And apparently it can read up to 100 volts DC according to the scale. And what you do is if you're reading ohms you flick the meter on and of course as, this, as demonstrated before uh, with the ohms on it gives you your reading. And if you switch it off, it's automatically in DC mode. Now let me grab a battery and uh, do a quick test to show you. Now that it's in off mode, it'll check, it'll test uh, DC voltages. Let's hope we got this right. Yep. And that's reading about well, close to 9 volts. So there it is. Okay, so it's a DC voltage meter for sure, and a mega ohm or ohm meter. Now, we'll uh, move on to uh, further do some review on this meter. Okay, sorry about that. We had a camera battery issue. My wife was using the camera today and uh, didn't realize the batteries were so low. So I test a 9 volt battery now. We have the switch off, so it's in DC mode. And uh, negative and positive, here we go. Okay, so that's reading about 9 volts. Now my question is um, to you, YouTubers out there, I did uh, look up the model number and the best I could tell is that it's only good for DC and good for checking ohms and mega ohms. Anybody could tell me if it's good for AC, I don't certainly want to test it. And I don't necessarily have to do it. But I would like to know if it can do AC or not. So if you could leave me that message in uh, my in my YouTube uh, video here, I want to show you the the battery that belongs to this unit. It is a 45 volt battery made by Everetti. It says a B battery uh, number 455, a Neta 201 45 volt battery. It has. Uh, huge negative positive clips here and uh, that's the side here little warning label in the rear the back well the boat, same size I guess but uh, Everetti Battery Company Incorporated St. Louis Missouri 63164 uh, Missouri made in USA sorry okay um, now, the question is, uh, where does one find a battery like that? Well, I did some research online, and I've discovered uh, there's plenty of places to buy them. But, they are $30 plus delivery. So, in order to have this meter to work properly, I would need a 45 volt DC battery with these oversized clips which mind you are much bigger than the regular um, let's get this comparison here regular DC clips uh, on a 9 volt battery anyway to that end I was put in contact by a good friend Ian uh, to a gentleman in the United States uh, or maybe Canada no I think it is the United States and I do apologize and uh, I'm not going to disclose his first name or last name I'm not exactly sure of his name anyway but uh, he is uh, on YouTube and he has an account called Battery Maker and I found some of these videos very interesting and according to he makes uh, authentic, not authentic, but authentic looking batteries such as these 
and these batteries were used in old mobile um, radios and uh, apparently he's got a lot well not apparently he's got a bunch of catalogs on there that references many many different batteries for different radios and the specs on how to build them and he even does the graphics and creates a battery that looks similar to the, the authentic product to make your antique radio 100% authentic looking I guess and if it's the spec well I mean it's obviously authentic anyway uh, I got to thinking haven't heard back from this gentleman yet, Battery Maker, uh, YouTube account, Battery Maker. Uh, haven't heard back yet. I'm sure I will. He sounds to be sounds to be a busy person. So I was just uh, contacting him to find out if there's possibly a way that he could probably make a battery for this meter uh, for cheaper than what I can find online, and and maybe give me some ideas. And in one of these videos, he's uh, doing a test on a mobile radio. That's what it was called. A recent video. Not exactly sure of the date on it, but probably within the last month. And in that, I noticed he had a uh, bunch of batteries. And they were hooked together. And I will demonstrate for you. He had five of these batteries, I believe. And what he did is he took the first nine volt and he connected negative to positive like that and he continued on negative to positive these are different batteries by the way but they're all 9 volt and they're all alkaline and uh, he had 5 of these or maybe 6 or more but what he did he was taking the positive and the negative and he, he was getting more voltage for testing his his radio that he was trying to work on. So 9 times 3 is 27. Now I, I can't remember how many batteries you have, but all of a sudden I thought to myself, that's a fantastic way to get the voltage that you need to get this meter working. And all I would need to make 45 volts was 5 9 volt batteries. Now, second question that I had, will it work? And how long will it work? Well, this is how I have this meter working now, this exact meter. I have five of these batteries. I have three like this, and I have two more turned up on an angle. Now, I don't have the extra batteries to show you, but so they'll fit in the chassis. Now, I'm just going to show you what I've got done. I, I apologize. I never thought about doing the video as I was building it, but I wasn't sure if it was going to work. Well, I kind of knew it was going to work, but anyway. Let's have a look at what I did. Okay, first of all, I apologize for all the blue tape. It's um, it's some t electrical tape, basically. It's color-coded electric tape, and I had that roll in my drawer here, in my desk, and I thought, well, it's there, it's handy, and that's what I used. Not that I don't like the color blue. As a matter of fact, I do like the color blue, but I'm just sorry that it's actually covering uh, the actual detail of uh, what, it, what is done here. So basically, if you look at it, here's two 9-volt batteries. And the third one, which is laying horizontal. And then I have two more sideways. And the reason why I had to do that is because it had to fit in between this channel here that this old battery used to fit into. And as a matter of fact, this here channel, this plate that it locks into, as you can see on either side, was a bit too, uh, too wide and the battery was slopping. So what I did is I gently pressed in on both sides until it pinched into and held the battery in tight. And I also bent down a little tab in here, which used to take the battery, and when it would come up, it would bring up solid and wouldn't move no further, and it would stay exactly in place. So now I have five batteries, positive, negative, positive wire. I left the clips, by the way. Here's a clip hiding, one clip hiding here, and the other clip hiding here. That used to go on this old battery here, on these clips. And I soldered them. Negative to negative, positive to positive. And that is how I got the meter to work. And uh, anyway, I, I guess uh, in advance you'll probably be watching this movie, uh, Battery Maker. Uh, I want to thank you for inadvertently giving me the idea of how to do this. Anyway, 
that'll conclude my video folks um, and I just want to say that um, YouTube is a wonderful tool for learning things and uh, this is a great example even unbeknownst to somebody they may not know it but uh, you're learning from them and so I encourage people to use YouTube for that same reason this is Tobin Industrial thank you and good night